We're like, I'm not Jimmy. Um, so, uh, when I was in high school, um, I don't know why I'm acting like this is only in past tense, but I'll say it. Um, when I was in high school, I had a Barbara thing, right? Um, only then. I wasn't listening to her a bit. Um, but uh, one of the CDs I was obsessed with was Barbara the Concert. Um, which, this is like when she's so famous that it's not Barbara in concert or probably it's just the concert. Um, and it's amazing. If you don't have the DVD of this, like, go home and get it because it's amazing. Because it's, it's 1994 and it's, um, it's just like insane celebrities. It's like Bill Clinton, like, back before Monica, like, Nancy Kerrigan on crutches. Not really, but I wish. Um, and, uh, um, <laughs> And it starts, okay, so there's many amazing things about it. Just as I know about the DVD, because that's why you have to have the DVD, because it opens with all these people and it interviews them in these like 90s garb, you know, wearing those like, uh, this back when like Disney sweatshirts were okay for everybody's parents to just wear around, you know what I mean? Um, and so, <laughs> we all have it, please. And you know what I'm talking about, there's some Polaroid of like your parent on like some brown lazy boy with that like teal <laughs> Mickey and Donald picture. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so um, uh, in this DVD, they start like interviewing all these people who literally saved all of their money to go see Parker with, uh, uh, I'm sure, like absurd prices. And then, then at the beginning, it starts, and there's honestly, I swear to God, there's a woman in a wheelchair, and she goes, <laughs> they interview her, and they're like, are you excited? She goes, well, I don't know what's going to happen to me, but at least I get to see Barbara. And you're like, oh my, you're going to start with that? <laughs> It's amazing. And she says, you know, Barbara was like, put that in there. Put that in there. I healed her with my music. <laughs> so anyway, so the things I learned from this CD. One is that everyone should star in their own Broadway show by the time you're 21, and if you didn't, you failed. <laughs> Check. Um, so, uh, uh, other one is that you can talk your way into any song. I'm still like trying to work on this, but my she does my favorite thing in the world in this, in this particular one. She goes, she goes, this is a year full of natural disasters and catastrophes, but does it always take a catastrophe to remind us that we're all just people? <laughs> Thank you, Caleb, for picking up on that. I was, like, I, was like, I was in a different key, and you surprised me. Um, so, but the one other thing I learned is that if you can't sing it, take, a, take like the alto harmony. Because in this, she sings Piece of Sky with herself. So she sings with Barbara, who could sing the notes, but she can't anymore. So, like, Barbara, who could sing the notes, is on the back doing a piece of sky. And she's going, just a piece of sky, like, below it. So I was, right, this comes around to something. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, when I was a senior in high school, I was the beast in Beauty and the Beast. Um, P.S. My first professional production was after that, where I did the same musical, and then I went to the cheese grater, so that was pretty humbling. Um, but, um, I couldn't sing that last song, because it ends on, um, uh, it's, uh, let the world be done with me. And I was, back then I was like, woo, 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 singing in the back of my throat, and I literally couldn't hit the notes. Um, so I was like doing it, and I was rehearsing it, and I was like, I was like, you know what? Like, I don't know if I can get it. And I was like, let me just try it. So I got my first night. I'm now going to, I am now going to show you exactly what I did by senior year of high school in Beauty of the Beast, okay? And it's, remember, it's, let the world be done with me. Okay, go. Um, yeah, so we'll start the bridge. <laughs> Long ago, I should have seen, seen you then. All the things I could have been. Careless and unthinking, I moved on. This is where I've had them build me a balcony, because I'm that diva. And so I'm like reaching for the move that doesn't exist. And so I'm running from the balcony.